In this video, we'll cover pipe networks. Pipe networks are mainly gravity networks. When you see pipe networks in civil 3D, you're basically talking about water flowing in a network through gravity. As you can see, there's a pressure network and there's pipe network. They're both pipe networks, but specifically, Pipe network are gravity driven, but pressure network may are pressurized networks, meaning mostly these are water supply networks. But for pipe networks, uh, which are gravity driven, they're usually storm sewers or sewerage sewers. So in this tutorial, we'll be covering pipe networks, not pressure pipe networks. And a pipe network is, is basically composed of structures. Structures can be inlet chambers. They can be um, manholes. They can be null structures. For example, in this drawing, you can see here is a structure. And if I click on it, the contextual tab of the structure pops up. And I can edit various parts of the structure. I can edit the properties, or I can edit the style. We can even view this structure in, in 3D. For example, let me right click and go to object viewer. As you can see, it's a manhole. It's a manhole structure and that's how it looks like. And then attached to it are pipes. This is a pipe structure. And if I also click on it, the pipe networks um, contextual tab also shows up. Let's also view this in uh, 3D. Let's go to object viewer. As you can see, that's a pipe. Which goes to this structure, which is the manhole. So probably sewerage is flowing from this side or storm is flowing from this side going on to this junction. Okay. So Pipe networks are displayed using uh, pipe network styles. And these styles come in two, the structure styles and the, and the pipe styles. For example, if we click on this structure, if we go to structure properties, we can edit its style. Currently, it's at the storm sewer manhole style. And if you want to edit it, you can edit uh, according to your own specification. Let me just click on pr structure properties to see how we can assign styles. As you can see here at the information tab of the structure properties, we have selected the storm sewer manhole style, but there are various other styles. For example, if I were to pick another one, example. So this is storm sewer man manhole. Let's pick this sanit sanitary sewer and see how it changes. As you can see there, the style changes to a different color and if it, it's bigger than the storm sewer manhole. All right. Also, you can even change the the pipe style. Let's go to pipe properties. And here we have selected the double line sanitary style. Let's select a different one, single line sanitary and, and see how, how it looks like. Now it changes to a single line. It's no longer double lined. Okay, and uh, pipe networks are also labeled. You can see this is a label. You click on escape and click on one of those labels. This is a pipe label. At the contextual tab, you can edit the label. Let's look at this label, what it says. So, this is um, it's the length, two D length. Let me see. It also has the pipe slope portion here. It has the length portion, uh, I think the description portion, and then the pipe slope portion. Okay, so as you can see, the length is here. The description is a 200 millimeter PVC, and then the slope is here. At it is sloping at 0.83 percent. Okay, so th that's pipe networks. Next, we are going to create some rules. Let me explain what pipe rules are or structure rules are. Let me click on the tool space. As you can see here at the settings, 
there are some rules under pipes for example let me expand the pipes here you can see pipe styles pipe rule set there are some rules and here we have three rules the basic rules the new uh, the new pipe rules so these rules they govern how your network behaves for example here there's a cover and slope rule here it's saying the minimum cover you can have for any manhole in this basic rule set you'll have the mark the, the minimum cover as three meters which is very deep okay then here the length check you can say maximum length is 200 meters minimum length of a pipe is uh, one meter let's check out the other rules for this rule set it's uh, more realistic and i think this is what is applied in this in this pipe network you can see minimum cover of uh, to the pipe uh, crown is one meter and the maximum cover is four meters so pipes can have rules and also structures can also have their own rules so if you come here to the prospector the settings tab structures you can see structure rule set and we have a basic rule set and a new structure rule set and let's just open this one to see how it looks like so we have a pipe drop across structure rule zero and then some depth is also zero okay you can also view your network on uh, panorama you can click on um, edit pipe network and once the network layout tools show up you can go to the pipe network vista and you can see your pipes or your net or your structures on panorama this panorama window and you can even go to pipes okay so that's just an overview on uh, pipe networks next we're going to start creating uh, pa pass list and pipe rules for our network